reflected on what to talk about in this speech, and as I reflected on things in my life that I've been through, and as I've reflected on an experience that I thought could make me vulnerable or genuine, I found myself just basically hitting my head against the desk just for hours trying to come up with something that I thought would be interesting and something that I thought would really help me connect to you. But the more and more I did it, the more I tried to come up with stories, the more frustrated I became and the more I realized I was just making myself into something I wasn't really. I would take a story from my childhood about when I used to live in California and I would talk about, I would write about it, I would add some little details that maybe over exaggerated it and I thought, yeah, this will be great for my speech. You know, my audience will really be able to connect to me this way. And then as I was looking around in our house for objects that I could use to illustrate my points, I saw this mask on the wall that I have on the wall in my living room. And I realized that in my entire effort to come up with an amazing speech, I was really just putting on a mask. I was putting on something fake. I was just coming up with some story that I thought might impress all of you. When really that's not me at all. I wanted to try and leave religion out of it completely because all we ever hear is I served a mission here or I'm a Mormon and so I've done this in my life and so I wanted to leave that out of it completely but I realized that that was two years of my life my religious experiences are 20 years of my life and if I'm going to leave that out then automatically I'm fake automatically I'm creating an image of you for of myself for you that's not real and so I realized I couldn't fully do that and that's where I got this mask I got this mask serving a mission in Ghana. Um, I'll leave it at that. I think that suffices to say. And as I was there, I met people, and I think it goes without saying that people in West Africa are poorer than here. I met people who lived in huts, who lived in cement buildings, who lived in basically boxes made of whatever they could find, who have nothing to hide behind. But here we have everything to hide behind. We hide behind things like this. We hide behind phones, technology, friends, family, the reputation and the skills and resources of other people besides ourselves. And this was all just starting to come together as I was preparing for the speech. It was almost like I created my own identity um, making this speech because I never thought about it. I never had any major life experience. I've never had a family member die that devastated me. I've never experienced something like that. I've never been quote unquote poor. I've never wanted or really just struggled in life. And I almost felt bad for that for a minute because I thought how, how selfish of me, how just prideful and arrogant. But I would sit here and try to make up my own story about why I'm so special um, when really I'm not. I was just putting on a mask. And so now every time I look at this mask, every time I see the beads and the different colors, I see it as a challenge now to be myself. I see it as a challenge to not sugarcoat things. I see it as a challenge to um, embrace who I am and as well as that embrace who other people are. We live in this culture where people see disagreement as hate. They see because I don't agree, because this person doesn't agree with me, they must hate me and they must bitterly oppose every choice I make. But that's wrong. That's not right at all. And that's not how things have always been everywhere. Now that I see this mask written that way, I see it as I may disagree with someone, but that's completely okay as long as I understand where they're coming from and they understand where I'm coming from. As long as I have different lifestyle choices and as long as I do different things and experience different trials from other people, it doesn't make me any more inferior. It doesn't make me any more superior. It just makes me different, which is completely okay. And so I offer you the same challenge to, I guess for lack of a better term, be real. To not you know, put on a mask. To not try and make yourself into something that you're not just because other people want you to. But if you disagree with something, embrace that. You know, That's who you are. You don't need to try and be somebody else just because the rest of the world is telling you you need to. 